Let's learn how to build your first DBT model using Paradigm. In this hands-on tutorial, you'll be hearing from me and my AI bot friend, Anthony. Parker, the job title data advocate, couldn't be more vague. What do you even do? All right, Anthony's gone. So let's learn how to build these DBT models without him. So for this demo, we're working under the assumption that you've already set up a Paradigm account, a GitHub repo, and your data warehouse. First things first, let's head over to the editor and then let's open a new terminal. Before creating a model, let's initialize a new dbt project, create a dbt project framework with all the necessary files, and launch a new GitHub branch. And lucky for us, there's a simple terminal command that accomplishes all of that, paradigm repo init. This command results in several fill in the blank requests, the first one being enter your project name, we'll call it paradigm practice, and then it asks, do you want to generate source.yaml files? Of course we do. And now it asks which database we should access from our data warehouse. And lastly, it asks to select a schema. I'm going to go with that one. Now we can see that a new dbt project has been initialized and we have the skeleton with all the files necessary to build a model. And that's a lot of work that we just accomplished, so let's commit that branch to GitHub. So using git lite, we'll add a comment there, and then we'll say commit and push, and merge the request immediately. Now we're going to create our data model architecture and the staging layer. But first things first, let's create a new GitHub branch and we'll call it feature staging. To build the data modeling architecture, we will go to the dbtproject.yaml and we will replace this code. And here I'm specifying that I'm going to have two data modeling layers. The first one is the staging, and the second one is the warehouse. And I've enabled both of these models to true, which means that they will run against dbt. I want them to materialize in my data warehouse as tables, and I'm also assigning them to new schemas. Now let's build out that staging layer by creating a new folder in models called staging, and let's create a SQL file in staging called stagecustomer.sql. And in this SQL file, I'm running a query that accesses the customer table in my data warehouse. And before we do dbt run, we can actually preview this file to see if I'm getting the data I need. So there's the compiled SQL as well as the results. And everything looks good, so let's do dbt run. And if we go to the data warehouse, we can see that a new schema, stage my company, was created alongside the table stage customer. So we've successfully created the staging layer. Now let's push our commits up to GitHub and finish up on the warehouse layer. The merge was successful and let's create our final warehouse layer. Let's clean up our workspace a little bit. And now we'll create a new folder in models called warehouse. And in this folder, we'll create a new SQL file called dim customer. Here I'm running a SQL query against stage customer that removes duplicate customers based on their customer ID. And similar to the last query, let's preview this to see if it works. Everything ran beautifully, so let's do dbt run. And when we go to the data warehouse, we see this new schema, data warehouse my company, alongside dim customer. So congrats, you built your first model with DBT and Paradigm, and you are ready to take on the universe. Don't forget to commit your changes.